Mid Journey is one of the best AI image generation tools out there right now. Personally, I really love Mid Journey because I think it's very versatile. It can produce a wide range of image styles from cartoonish animations to abstract styles and even highly realistic looking images. Currently, the only way you can use Mid Journey is through a chat app called Discord. So essentially, you can chat with the Mid Journey bot on Discord and ask it to generate any image you can imagine. Let's get started. I'm going to be going over how to subscribe, how to start generating your first image, how to blend two images together to create one new image, how to create animations and cartoons from real life pictures, how to resize and reshape your image, and the best prompts to use to get the best results out of Mid Journey. To use Mid Journey, first go to the midjourney.com on your browser. Then you sign in. Mid Journey would connect you directly to the Discord app. Every Mid Journey image generation happens on the Discord app. So if you don't have a Discord account, you will have to create a Discord account. The Discord UI can be a little complicated at first, but you would get used to it after some time. Go to one of the newbies channel in the Mid Journey workspace. There are a couple of newbie channels. Just pick one. To interact with Mid Journey, you would have to use various keywords and queries. First, you need to subscribe with the subscribe keyword. It gives you a personal link. Navigate to that link. When you get to the subscribe website, there are many plans ranging from $10 per month to $60 per month. Just pick a plan based on your needs. I picked the $10 plan because that is satisfactory for my needs. Make the payments and you're ready to go. Now let's head back to Discord and start generating images. Go to the Mid Journey bot right here. To generate an image, use the Imagine keyword, then describe the image you want in the prompt. In this case, we want to generate a colorful landscape. Click enter, and it takes about five to 10 seconds to generate four images. These are the four images right here. There are three features that you need to know about. First is the U button. This means upscale. U1 represents the first image, U2 the second, U3 the third, and U4 the fourth. For example, if you like an image out of the four, you can upscale it to produce a larger and more defined version of that image. Then you can save it to your computer. The V button means variation. If you like an image, but it's not yet perfect, but close to perfect, you can create more variations of the image. Let's create variations of uh, the fourth image, so V4. As you can see, it's similar to the original image, but it has slight variations because we use the variation feature. Finally, there's also the reroll button. This button will regenerate all the four images to something different. Another great mid journey feature is blending. You can blend two to five images together to create an entirely new image. Let's see an example. You simply enter the blend keyword also in the mid journey bot, and it would ask you to upload two to five images. In this case, I'm blending this colorful image with this other one. Th these are the two images. Let's see what it produces. So these are the newly generated images representing a blended version of the two images I uploaded. As you can see, it has similar features from both the colorful image and the other image. Let's look into how you can turn an actual image into a cartoon style of that image using Mid Journey. To turn an image into a cartoon, you need to upload the image to Discord. After uploading the image, enter the Imagine keyword, then drag and drop the image in the prompt. Also in the prompt, describe what you want the animation to look like. Make sure that the image link is before the description. For example, I want to turn this image into a Disney looking character. I just need to specify that I want it to be a Disney looking character. And this is the end result of the image converted to a cartoon. 
depending on what you want to use your image for, you might want it to be a specific size. All you have to do is include the aspect ratio in the prompt. Midjourney provides a bunch of aspect ratio options. All you simply need to do is add the aspect ratio command at the end of your prompt, just like this. Enter the command, followed by the size you want. In this case, I want the image to be three by two. And as you can see, it generates a three by two images. A pro tip to getting the best out of Mid Journey is trying to be as specific as possible and describing the elements you want to see in the image. For example, if I want my image to look like a Disney animation, I could specify that so it looks like a Disney character. Or if I want it to look like a Japanese manga character, I can specify that as well so it has the look of a Japanese manga character. Also, read the documentation to learn more about the latest features and the latest updates. And also, you know, have fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video for similar content. And feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions regarding this short tutorial.